took, what, I think, three hours, but I beat Legendary 10. That bastard Dark Knight, screw him. Master Andy, I told you I wasn't giving up. I win. Definitely a hell of a lot of fun. Frustrating at times. Definitely needs to work on the collision detection all around. There were times swords passed through my body that felt like they should have done damage that didn't. It seems like maybe only tracking is on the head for collision. There were plenty of times that felt like their swords went through my swords, even if it was hitting the hilt. Uh, so either I was moving my sword too fast, didn't stop when I died, and it just looked like it was there. 
in which case I would suggest freezing my weapons like you do the headset as proof of where they were when I died. So it's not disputable that, oh my god, you know, the game's collision detection sucks, I was blocking that. So collision detection is number one. Number two is uh, better graphics. They work for the game, the gameplay is a hell of a lot of fun. I think now it's time to make it look pretty. Uh, you did a hell of a job with this. Definitely recommend it. Uh, two big thumbs up. We need a lot more melee games, and even though this is a um, basically a melee wave shooter, so you know a wave melee, uh, and the market is saturated with wave games right now, I would still say that this is worth your money and worth a pickup. If you enjoyed these videos, if you liked seeing me get my ass kicked by the Black Knight over and over and over and over and over again, please go ahead and like, subscribe, and share and leave a comment below and let me know what you want to see in future videos. I'll see you guys later, wherever the camera is. Bye guys.